fake his own death? Didn't, you know, many people thought he died in a crash. In fact, didn't his girlfriend call in? I mean, is she part of this? Yeah, in fact, she was charged with the attack at this gun store, this robbery, right along with him. The only evidence any of his family or friends actually had was the girlfriend saying, oh, by the way, he got into a car crash and died on the way to his fight. There was no death certificate, no funeral, no evidence, no body. There was a makeshift memorial. It turns out that this guy was upstairs in a Whoa. child's bedroom listening. Whoa. So, Clark, Dan O'Donnell says that he attended his own memorial? Well, I think that's how you want to phrase it. He did. He was dead as far as his friends and family knew. But listening upstairs, he says in an interview with the New York Times, he was surprised at how upset people were that he passed away. He was hiding. He was afraid to move. He heard the whole thing from upstairs. But, Nancy, here's where it takes a turn. Apparently, this gentleman may have owed some drug dealers quite a large chunk of change and still had to pay up. He thought he was going to steal some guns from a gun store. Only the robbery then goes awry. Okay, this, this is crazy. With me, a uh, special guest from Gaylord, John Eubanks, MMA promoter, who held a benefit for Rowan's family. John, thank you so much for being with us. I mean, mixed martial arts has taken over the whole country. People are fascinated with it. Did you know, how do you know Charlie Rowan? Well, Nancy, I, I known Charlie for a couple of years. He uh, signed up. He was a, just a local street fighter that signed up at a mixed martial arts event in uh, northern Michigan. In fact, the MMA community has been obviously outraged by Charlie Rowan. Well, let me ask you this. You helped raise money at the Rowan Benefit. What happened to the money that you raised, and what did you do? How did you feel when you found out he wasn't dead at all? Oh, we, we were, we were out, like I said, we were enraged by this whole thing. Uh, we, want, we were looking for Mr. Rowan before the police. <laughs> you see, when we, when we found out about this, we obviously... Uh, we're, we're feeling like we were taken. We were. We felt like we were robbed. Uh, we were under the impression that this gentleman died uh, in a car accident on his way up to a, uh, a show that he was supposed to compete in. Uh, and then about a month and a half later, I seen him on the news that he had robbed a gun store.